you know, just went through civilian life without experience in the military. Uh -huh. My current job, I'm in corporate security for uh, Chase Bank. And a lot of the things that they do are based on military style. So it still helps. Hasn't helped my shooting any, but. <laughs> uh, all in all, it was a good experience. Mm -hmm. Would you uh, recommend the military for people that you meet or, or young people? To <laughs> now, there's a young, a lot of young people out here that really could benefit from it, but t today, without the draft, it's just you know you you track people with money now instead of serving the country. Oh. You know, my experience, my well, last experience down in Georgia, a lot of the young guys were joining, and they were joining for infantry just for the money, and a lot of them were getting there and thinking, oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> when I joined, but, you know, if I hadn't joined, I probably stood a chance of getting drafted. Uh -huh. and I kind of feel that probably everybody should spend at least one year or two years in the military. Well, females should be, you know, optional mm -hmm. to volunteer like they always has been. But, uh, Actually, when you joined, there was no, uh, they never offered you uh, uh, money to, to uh, no like, money. at the end of your time to... Well, from you were offered money to re-enlist, but you weren't offered money just from the start to join. Oh, uh -huh. this was after you were in. Right. Uh -huh. Well, that was a very interesting... Uh, uh, that you, uh, your story about the military was quite positive and uh, was very interesting. And um, so I guess uh, we can call that <laughs> That's right. and, and, a now, success. Now, is there something you want to say in, in closing? Or? No. That's about it.